Okay, so I finally made it home. Look over here. I finally made it home, um, and I decided that I was going to take maybe 30 minutes. Um, God, I'm looking at every direction but the right one. Um, I was going to take 30 minutes just to kind of relax for a second and start studying at around 4 o'clock. So this vlog is about paying for CRNA school because um, I have not touched on that yet. So most students, they use financial aid. Some students, they actually save money um, and still financial aid to supplement. So basically, my advice is you definite, definitely, definitely, uh, definitely need to save money. Um, for instance, my house is a one um, income household now that I'm technically not working. So for incidentals, things that may arise as an emergency, you definitely have to have a backup plan. Financial aid normally covers um, everything you need as far as like books and um, your tuition. Um, um, and they give you a little extra also for living expenses. So um, when I got my financial aid, my refund check was around $6,000. So you just kind of have to slowly use that 6000 but don't rely on that 6000 to take you through one semester. You definitely need extra income. Also, a lot of hospitals do stipends. Um, normally, if they give you money uh, while you're in the program, that means that you have to give them a certain amount of time back. Um, and so I actually have an interview with one of the chief CRNAs at a hospital down here. And um, basically, it's like a job interview. Um, and hopefully it'll guarantee my position if they decide to give me the stipend for the 24 months that I'm in this program. Um, and that's pretty much it. And I'm sorry for saying mm so much. It's, it's when you can't remember what you want to say, mm is usually the first thing that comes to your mind. But basically for school, you need to make sure that you save money, use financial aid, um, and there you go, um, and possibly get a st look into getting a stipend. Now, um, do not get a stipend if you do not plan on staying in the area that you're going to school in. And if you don't plan on giving um, these hospitals that a lot of time that you're supposed to give them for the stipend. Because you will wind up having to pay them back. And even though they're giving you the stipend slowly, usually it's a monthly stipend, they were asked for all of their money <laughs> right then. So um, just be cognizant of that. And um, make sure your husband has a good job or your wife, <laughs> because it does. It is a one-income household, and if you're single, then it's a zero-income household. Um, besides your financial aid and what money you have um, saved, or your parents. Some people are fortunate enough to have parents that. Um, take care of them during the program. I myself am not because I am 37 years old and I can't see myself asking them for anything. So right now we're very comfortable. We tried our, our best to prepare ourselves before I got into this program. So I think we did a pretty good job of that. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing well once again and have a great Tuesday afternoon. Well, I guess it's evening now. Bye-bye.